What's going on everybody and welcome to this video on understanding time complexity with C++ examples. In this video, we'll cover the concept of time complexity and how it relates to algorithm performance. We'll also look at some C++ code examples to help illustrate these concepts. Specifically, we'll cover every type of big O notation. So let's get started. Time complexity is a measure of the amount of time it takes an algorithm to solve a problem as the size of the input increases. In other words, it's a measure of how efficient an algorithm is. Time complexity is typically expressed in big O notation, which is the mathematical notation used to describe the limiting behavior of a function when the arguments tends towards a particular value or infinity. In layman terms, it just means how efficient the algorithm is as the size increases. Let's start with O of 1 time complexity, which is also known as constant time complexity. This means that the time required for an algorithm to complete does not change as the size of the input increases. Here's a C++ code example. As you can see, we have get first element of an array. This algorithm simply returns the first element of an array, regardless of the size of the array. It has O of 1 time complexity, or constant time complexity. Now let's look at O log n time complexity which is also known as logarithmic time complexity. This means that the time required for an algorithm to complete increases logarithmically as the size of the input increases. Here's a C++ code example. As you can see here, we have binary search, which while the left is less than or greater than the right, it'll half the size of the array in search to either the greater or the less than. This algorithm performs binary search on a sorted array to find a specific value. The time required to complete this algorithm increases logarithmically as the size of the input array increases. In most cases, if an algorithm halves at each iteration, it's basically going to be a log in time complexity. But there are some edge cases that this won't happen. Next up is O of n time complexity, which is also known as linear time complexity. This means that the time required for an algorithm to complete increases linearly as the size of the input increases. Here's a C++ code example. As you can see, we have linear search. This algorithm performs a linear search on an array to find a specific value. The time required to complete this algorithm increases linearly as the size of the input increases. This is usually the most used complexity or the most wanted complexity, O of n. And in most interviews, you try to get your algorithm to perform an O of n time complexity. Moving on to O n log n time complexity, which is also known as linear rhythmic time complexity. This means that the time required for an algorithm to complete increases by n multiplied by the logarithm of n. Here's a C++ code example. As you can see, we have merge sort. This algorithm performs a merge sort on an array, which involves dividing the array into halves and sorting each half separately, then merging the two halves together. The time required to complete this algorithm increases by n multiplied by the logarithm of n. Next, let's look at O of n squared time complexity, which is also known as quadratic time complexity. This means that the time required for an algorithm to complete increases quadratically as the size of the input increases. Here's a C++ code example. This algorithm performs bubble sort on an array, which involves comparing adjacent elements and swapping them if they are in the wrong order. The time required to complete this algorithm increases quadratically as the size of the input increases. As you can see from the example, we have two for loops, which in most cases means O of n squared, because we have a for loop, which is O of n, and another for loop inside of it, which is O of n. And by multiplying the two, we have O of n squared. This is just a quick way of looking at code to figure out what the time complexity is. Finally, let's look at O 2 to the n time complexity, which is also known as exponential time complexity. This is usually the time complexity you don't want to have. This means that the time required for an algorithm to complete increases exponentially as the size of the input increases. Here's a C++ example. As you can see, this algorithm calculates the nth Fibonacci number recursively. The time required to complete this algorithm increases exponentially as the value of n increases. That's it for our video on understanding time complexities with C++ examples. I've covered every type of big O notation, and I hope that this video has been helpful in understanding the concept of time complexity 
and how it relates to algorithm performance. We will need this for the upcoming videos that I will be explaining different algorithms and the time complexities that are associated with them. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this. Peace.